Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to add a component in Nuxt. So if you're new to Nuxt, this is like so cool, it's going to be so easy and the video is going to be so short. So we already have our application uh, created using Create Nuxt app and if you were watching the previous videos, I used Create Nuxt app and I added Tailwind because I like to use uh, Tailwind for my CSS, but you can not choose that and choose any CSS you want. So I'm going to create a component and I'm going to call it product card. And in here, I'm going to create my view template. And basically what I did was I copied um, something from Tailwind. So this is basically, um, a, it's on the Tailwind main page and it's basically just a product card, right? So it's just got an image uh, coming from Unsplash and it's got a div with marketing, a link, and it's got some text. So it's basic, just a component, right? So now I want to use that component in my pages. So I go to my pages, I create a new file called products. And then in here, I'm just going to put uh, my template. And now let's, let's put a div uh, with a class of container. And I'm going to put MX auto just so it's centered in the middle and a margin top so that we can kind of just see it a little better, right? So in here now, I want to use my component. I literally just put the component name, which is product card. And we'll close it and we'll save it. So now I've added my product card, right? Is that going to work? Is that all I need? Let's have a look. So this is my application up and running and my root is product. And here is my product card, right? So that kind of all looks like a bit of magic. Video's over, you can all go home now. <laughs> um, let me just explain how it's working a little bit. So basically, in our Nuxt config file, we have something in here called components true. And this will auto import the components for you. Now, if we set this to false, then if we go to our product page and just refresh it, we're going to have a problem, right? It's going to rebuild because we changed the page, of course. And what's going to happen is that we're not going to be able to find that component because um, it doesn't exist, right? So if you inspect the page and if you go to the console, it's going to give you this unknown custom element product card. Did you register the component correctly? So we have components set to false. So in order to see this, we would have to create um, a script tag and we would have to put, for example, import product card from um, components product card. And then I can put in here components and I can put product card. So this now will work because I've imported and you can see here my error is gone and I now have my product card, right? So you are very welcome to do this manual process and write this out yourself. Or you can just not do that and make sure that this is set to true. And now a component is back. We just refresh as that will rebuild and we have our component. So basically, um, that's all it takes to add your component in Nux.js. Make sure in your Nux config it's set to true and literally just, just use it. Simple as that. Welcome to Nuxt. Thank you. Bye.